Today I'd like to demo you the Notebook app for iPad. What's great about the Notebook app for iPad is it connects to Google Drive which allows you to open existing Notebook presentations. In the top right hand of the Notebook app I see the Google Drive triangle. When I tap it, it gives me access to a number of um, Google Drive files that I've opened recently. I'm going to go ahead and go through a file path to get to a presentation that I've stored on Drive. My suggestion to you is that you have a top level folder that would contain all your um, current notebook files that you're going to use. Once I've located the file that I would like to open, just simply give it a tap. It will download onto the app. Remember, that's going against storage on your iPad, so you're not going to want to keep all of your notebook files on the app. You're going to want to keep those in Google Drive and pull them down as needed onto the iPad. Once I've opened it, I can continue to pull more in, or I can hit Open to open the current one that I've just pulled in. Go ahead and hit Open. Then I can use my stylus uh, or my finger to interact with the notebook file as I would be used to doing um, through the smart board. So you can see I have a number of pen tools here at the bottom. Um, things like type to text, uh, I can go ahead and make shapes, arrows, highlighters, so on and so forth. So I'm going to go ahead and pick the pen tool and I could be doing this myself. I could be giving this um, series of questions to my learners to complete, so on and so forth. So I can use the Smart Notebook app on iPad as I traditionally would um, use my Smart Board. However, this allows me to be more mobile, moving around the room with the iPad, passing the iPad to each of my learners to interact with. Whatever I'm doing on the iPad happens in real time on the Smart Board uh, when connected through the Apple TV. So this has been a quick look at the Smart Notebook app for iPad. Um, I hope you found this helpful and as always thanks for watching.